USA, NMA. The number one YouTube channel where the fans have their say. I punch it hard and I punch through it. You feel pain? Yes, sir. Shake that off. Let's go. So when this video went viral, my wife calls me, who was our executive director. She says, Jason, is there a video that's going viral? And I'm like, what do you mean? 2016, I didn't really understand the terminology. And sure enough, this video started racking up a lot of views. Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! Zeus! Ah! That's what this is about. Good. Let's get to that. Why are you crying? That's what this is about, son. It's okay to cry. We cry as men. Why are you crying, though, son? Come on. Tell me, why are you crying? Shortly thereafter, our phones wouldn't stop ringing. And it was men from all over the world crying to our staff, calling and crying, saying, I want to be free. I'm tired of holding all of this in. I wish my coach would have talked to me that way. That's what is for to put with my left hand. Okay, good. But you did it, though. It's hard to find a good mentor, and I think every man needs a mentor. And, you know, one of the things that martial arts does that I think is really important is it gives you these goals to work towards as you move through a belt system or whatever kind of system that each martial art that's different has. As you develop your skills and you, you, you get more proficient and you improve, you, you have like tangible progress and you can see it. And I think there's a lot of people that go through life not exactly sure where they stand. And it's good to cry so you can work through that emotion. So when it arises again, you can push it to the side and do what you want to do. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, good. Let's see what you got. But you need to dig hard. Tell me what hard as you can. Martial arts provides you with real feedback in one of the most, I think one of the most emotionally and physically difficult things that a person can do. Yes, and so many people don't realize the young boy in that video, Bruce, he was actually had a fear of failure. He had broke that board easily the week prior, but because of this test and the pressure and everyone watching, he just froze on his non-dominant hand and he mm. couldn't break through. So he broke down crying. And I wel welcomed his tears and said, look, we cry as men, you know, let this go. And men, and I love about martial arts, more than sports, it makes you face your fears. And nothing like if a punch is coming at you, a kick, or if you're grappling and you're concerned that someone's gonna take your back and choke you. I apply all these principles in life as well. And so when you give a man or a male a safe space to really be emotional and let go of the anxiety that he feels every day, the father wound, his fear of failure, his lack of confidence, where he can have a moment, we call it a moment on the mat, where you can stop the training and you can express what's overwhelming you in that moment. They transform instantly, man, and it's a, it's a great thing to see. And I've never seen anything work like the arts. Even with my son, he's 13 years old, you saw him, you know, six, one and a half, everyone says, you're gonna play basketball. And it's like, no, it's other things that I wanna do. And so even with sports, I say, son, it'll give you some confidence. But when we spar, we, we're training, the anxiety he feels, the voices, oh man, uh, Chris hit you again. What are you gonna do about that? How are you gonna maneuver? How are you gonna respond? And I allow him to break down in that moment. I say, okay, cool, now it's time to recover. Reflect on it. What's the lie? What's the truth? Do you think this man is not supposed to hit you? He's a skilled fighter. The goal is not for you to be the best, the goal is for you to learn, mm. all right? So when I give him that freedom to feel to feel the fear. Now they're not, they don't succumb to it when it really happens in real life. And so that's why I love the arts, especially the grappling arts, which I hate. I didn't discover until later in my training because nothing like someone invading your space. <laughs> you know, we can keep distance striking and we're comfortable here. But when someone invades your space or when a problem happens in your life where it's so close and personal that you can't just shake it, you have to learn how to buy your time and maneuver and don't let it come around you or you can get tapped out by the stress of that situation. The arts is just amazing if it's taught in a way that men could apply it to life. 
I, I couldn't agree more. And I think one of the beautiful things about jujitsu in particular is there's so much failure. And you, know, you could call it failure or you could just, it, 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 it is what it is. I mean, there's uh, one person gets tapped, the other person taps the person out. You, one person submits, the other person uh, applies a submission. It's just, and it's constant. If you're training with really good people, you're experiencing loss on a regular basis. And so you can, you, you understand how to process that. For some people, when, there's, uh, when they've failed in life or when something didn't go their way, they fall apart. It's devastating. They, they judge themselves as a whole based on one moment, whether it's a moment at work or whether it's something in their personal life or whatever it is where they've, they've, they haven't achieved, achieved success the way they envisioned it should happen or they wanted it to happen. It's devastating. It kills their confidence and they don't know how to handle it. Mm. One of the beautiful things about jujitsu is you achieve failure all the time. <laughs> I mean, you're, if you train with good people, you're yeah. constantly getting strangled and arm barred and leg locked and it's just, it's just what it is. Make sure to leave your comments below. Remember, when it comes to MMA, it's down to all of y'all to have your say.